Coming up next is the UFC welterweight division matchup. This is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive these into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yep. one, from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. So two years, the gap in age with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Boulder Gorsk, Ukraine, assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it fun. Underway, and we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high level striker is, and this guy is as high level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Nice straight punch. Defense there, huge block for him. Hands higher, hands Slips the punch nicely there. All right, early round one, we'll see if he can use that jab and try to keep his opponent on the outside. Must be nice for these long fighters, huh? I mean, they are able to touch you as you try to enter into range. To that one appeared to stun him. News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Oh, straight right. Got 
unable to connect them. He lands flush with that right hand. Got that knee to connect to the body, and if you're the defensive fighter here, you gotta make sure you don't eat too many more. You cannot eat the defense, you gotta get the elbow to the side. Otherwise, it's gonna land one that's gonna shut everything down. Big ball for punch land. Now he gets back to range. What a tricky head kick. Circling to his right. Checks the leg kick. Liver kick. Just out of range with the big right hand. Lee gets caught with that punch. A oh, little single collar tie there. Exchange in the pocket. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Lee's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. Blocks the shot. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard, he kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his shin into his opponent. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Oh, wow! Head kick. Oh, straight right. That one was going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> over and over, he lands a big body kick. Round two is next. All right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right? kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. How good is that right hand? Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Oh, head kick. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Big punch lands over the top. 
How's he gonna follow this one up? Big left hook coming in. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. So he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Just out of range with that left hook. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Can't take many of those, you better check. Oh! Real nice body kick land. Oh, nice strike landed there by Lee. Limp there, his leg hurting for certain. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Look for your double leg. Look for your double leg. Shoot. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Nice jab. That's a really strong leg kick there by Lee. Right hand punch with the clinch. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Oh, found a home for that knee. Great punch. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Trying to establish that jab once again. There's the leg kick. That one checked by Lee. Just misses with a left hook there. Big knee lands to the body. What a punch. Oh, big damaging knees here to the body. Beautiful straight punch there. His boxing fundamentals are just so deep. Oh, he looks so sharp tonight. All right, round three coming up next. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. Third round underway.
most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Big kick land. with that jab attempt there. Head kick land. Oh man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over. Nice punch here. force behind that leg kick. Lee gets caught and it was a big elbow there. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Well, not much set up behind it. The right hook misses. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Head kick. Oh, huge block! Just missed with the left there. Nice body kick right on the elbow. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Look at him with and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Nice. That was a thudding leg kick. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. He loaded up there on that high kick. Big knee to the body. Oh. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh. Can't put any weight on it. Take him down. Nice loop and bunch. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, looked like that left hand found the target. Found the target as it has on so many occasions tonight. Oh, nice job with the knee strike there. That'll wake you up. He thought it would be available. He just knew he had to find the right time. So at that is the right time. Oh, that straight punch knocked his head in the wrong direction. Really putting his opponent on notice. That's three rounds at the can. We're headed to the championship rounds.
All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC. And if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps where the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. John, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body shin. Left-right combo is good. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Oh, a nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike very effectively. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Continuing to work the body to great effect. Way to hide that leg kick. Look at the turnover in that kick. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Keep moving. And then take shot. Now take shot. Telegraph that spinning back fist. Able to check that kick as well. Got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Oh. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Oh, that is a nice straight punch by him there. He's got it all going tonight. No wasted actions, no loopy punches. He's going right to the target. He is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice, good series of kicks by him there. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally, it's the hands. Tonight, he's throwing kick after kick after kick. Good punch, Lance. Let's go. Set the All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Head kick attempt. It's blocked. 
Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. 20 seconds to go. Straight right, he misses. Nice kick. 10 seconds to go in the round. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four, 20 minutes in the books. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kick. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Punch over the top. Oh, nice right hand, John. His opponent can take massive shot that he landed. Great job. Oh, oh, look, oh, oh, oh. All the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's going to stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Sneaky oh. head kick. He needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. range with that punch attempt. Plus right hand is true. Under three minutes now to go in this one. Connection there with a punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, good kicks. Big body kick. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish, or he's going to lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's got to pull out all the stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to set up a punch. You got to just start letting everything fly. Right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Great punch, landed with so much power. Visibly limping here. Nice kick. And he oh. comes through with a big knee. Oh, straight right. Oh! 
stops the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? There's no tell on that leg kick. Less than a minute now to go in the round. Five seconds remain in the round. Oh, what a punch. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. Try to establish that jab. Twenty seconds to go in the fight. some of the action DC they go the distance tonight but you got to think he won over the judges with his striking acumen tonight yeah you got to watch one of the best strikers in the entire UFC he did everything so well and in my opinion he should cruise to a very easy decision Official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 49-25. For the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here tonight. Yeah, he did a great job of just dictating and controlling all the engagements of this fight. His opponent never really had an opportunity to lead the dance. He did that from start to finish, and he wins a unanimous decision.